his presence in our lives. I want to welcome every one of you today again to the presence of the Lord. It's my sincere prayers that the Lord God Almighty he will bless your lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Today I will share with you a topic I call Let God Lead. Let God Lead. It's like a word of a challenge to us as we commence the year. It's like a challenge to us even as we start the journey of this new year. And that the challenge to us is that we should allow God to lead us. One thing I wanted to know this one is that a believer or a child of God that allows God to lead, we always have God by his side every time. A believer, a child of God, a nation, a family that allows God to lead, we always enjoy the fullness of the blessings of God and the favor of God. And that is why this hour, as we share the word of God, I want us to be sensitive, I want us to be attentive, and I pray the Lord will bless you this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. We are going to read together from the word of God, as we read from the book of Deuteronomy, the book of Deuteronomy chapter 32, we are going to read verses 8 to 13, Deuteronomy chapter 32, verses 8 to 13, but before we read the scriptures, shall we pray together? Our Father and our God, we want to thank you this hour. We thank you this very moment. Thank you for the entrance of your word. Thank you because you will bless us once again. Thank you because you want to instruct our lives. Lord, as we be exalted in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, as we go to your word, rest your presence upon us in the name of Jesus. No man can speak to man, but Lord, we say, God, speak to us yourself. Speak to us in a language that we will understand in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, our Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen and amen. And the people of God said, Amen. I will read from Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 8 to 13. When the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. Verse 9. For the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. He found him in a desert land and in the waste following wilderness. He led him about. He instructed him. He kept him as the apple of his eyes. Verse 11. As an eagle stirred up her nest, fluttered over her young, spread abroad her wings, taken them, Buried them on our wings. Verse 12. So the Lord alone did lead him, and there was no strange God with him. Verse 13. He made him ride on the high places of the earth, that he might eat the increase of the fields. And he made him to suck honey out of the rock, and oil out of the flinty rock. May the Lord bless his word in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Like I said to you some minutes ago, we can see the example of what it means for God to lead in the life of a man. Where we read here, when the inheritance of the nation of Israel was divided, we can begin to see how God separated the nation of Israel, how the Lord divided them, and how the Lord decided personally to choose Israel as his own beloved. If you look at that place, in verse 11, he said, As an eagle tear up her nest, fluttered over her young, spread abroad her wings, and took them, buried them on her wings. So the Lord alone did lead him. That is to say, the Lord took his time to lead the children of Israel. He took his time to watch over their lives, to watch over their activities. The same manner as we share the word of God this morning, I want you to know, the Lord is interested in leading you. Somebody is watching me this morning. I want to say to you, the Holy Spirit is only waiting to get your attention. The Lord is ready to lead you. All your prayers, all your supplications, everything you have been doing in the presence of the Lord, the Lord is ready to lead you. Holy Spirit is ready to make a difference in your life. Holy Spirit is ready to make a difference in your life. 
And that is why I cannot forget the word of God in the book of Romans chapter 8, verse 14. I want you to remember this very Bible verse this morning. The word of God says in Romans 8, 14, it said, For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Romans 8, 14. That is to tell you that God is ready to lead you. And that is why there is somebody watching me this morning. There is somebody listening to me. That man, that woman, that will, be, that will be ready to say, Yes, Lord, I submit myself to you. Father, lead me. Father, lead me. I submit my life to you, spirit, soul, and body. I know there is somebody here, an executive of a company, a leader of a denomination. All you are trying to say, Lord, I submit to you. I want you to lead me. And I want to tell you this morning, the Lord is ready to take over. He's ready to lead you. He's ready to interfere in the matters of your life. And that is why this morning, as we read from the scriptures, the nation of Israel was quite distinguished from every other nation of the world. Even till date, the nation of Israel as a nation, right from the time, right from the, from the, from the, from the timeless beginning, the nation of Israel happens to be a distinguished nation. Why? Because the Lord took his time to lead the children of Israel. The Lord took his time to direct their lives. And we can remember the event that took place with the children of Israel when they led the land of Egypt. The Bible says, the Lord led the children of Israel by the pillar of cloud by day. He led them by the pillar of cloud by day and by the pillar of fire by night. That is a powerful God. God is not ready to leave any vacuum for the enemy in your life. You can see this demonstrated in the life of the children of Israel. God took his time to occupy. Just God took his time to make sure he enveloped them with his presence. He led them by the pillar of cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night. He told them what they should do. He told them where they would stop. He told them what to do at a very particular time. What, when, when they will rest, when they will commit, commence the journey. That is the mind of God for them. He led them precept by precept. And that is why this morning as you are hearing the word of God, just like the way he did to the children of Israel, the Bible says in verse 11, said, as an eagle stirred up a nest that, that fluttered over her wings, spread abroad her wings, take them, bear them on her wings. So, the Lord alone did lead him, and there was no stranger God with him. That is God. God, he led the children of Israel. That is exactly what the Lord wants to do for you. That is what exactly the Lord wants to do for your family. That is exactly what the Lord wants to do to that business in your hand. The Lord wants to lead you. Only if you can submit to him. Only if you can allow, allow him. Only if you can cry to him. Only if you can say, Lord, I submit myself to you. I want to be led by you. I want your spirit to tabernacle around me. And I know this will be your portion in the name of, Je of the Lord Jesus Christ. I said this will be your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Why? Because the Lord wants to lead you by the Holy Spirit. The Lord wants to lead you by the Holy Spirit. The Lord wants to protect you under his way. The year is still very young. The Lord wants to bear you on his eagle's wings like he did to the children of Israel. He wants to protect your family. He wants to protect your company. He wants to protect your ministry. The Lord wants to make you to ride on high places of the year 2022. The Lord wants you to enjoy increase and abundance. That is the mind and purpose for you, for the whole journey of your life, for the whole journey of this year. The Lord wants to give you the best of everything. He wants to make you a living proof of his goodness. That is the God that we serve. That is the everlasting Father. That is the mighty God that lives and that rules in the affairs of men. My brother, I don't know what you're passing through. Yes, 2021 has come. This is another year. Allow God to lead you. Allow God to lead you. Let him lead you. The Bible says, He that keepeth his strength, he does not sleep, neither does he slumber. That is the God that I'm talking to you about this morning. The Lord wants to lead you. Allow him to lead you. Don't struggle with your maker. 
Don't struggle with your maker. Don't struggle with your creator. He wants to lead you. You did it last year. It didn't work for you. You can begin to see, you can see yourself that the whole last year was a year of struggle. You fall into sin, you come out. You fall into sin, you come out. You fall into that problem. Why? Because you are not taking you, you're not taking your time to listen to the listening to the leading of the Lord. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters again. The voice of the Lord is coming to you again. The Lord says, My son, the Lord is saying, My daughter, I want to lead you. Let the Lord God lead your life. Let him lead that project. Let him lead. In that place where you are. Maybe you are a political leader. Maybe you are an administrator. The Lord wants to lead you. And that is what I've just finished telling you. He wants to protect you. He wants to carry you. He wants to bear you on his eagle's wings. He wants you to enjoy abundance. Only if you can listen to his leading. At the time in your journey, the Lord will give you an instruction. And just a simple instruction will do the, will do the miracle in your life. That just single instruction that just single voice will just come and that will be the miracle that you are waiting. I pray for you this year. You will hear the voice of the Lord. I say you will hear the voice of the Lord. Yea, David said something. He said, Lord, once have you spoken. He said, but twice have I heard that power belongs to the Lord. That was David in his interaction with God. He said, once have you spoken, Lord. Twice have I heard that power belongs to God. That is what I'm saying to you today. The Lord wants to lead you. I prophesy into your life. The Lord will lead you. The Lord will lead you. He will direct you. He will, he will counsel you. He guarded the children of Israel with the pillar of cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night. That same anointing, that same provision is still available. I tell you and I prophesy into your life. You will not live this year without direction. You will, not, you will not live this year without direction. Your life will be loaded with the direction of God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. But one thing I wanted to know this morning, as much as God is willing to leave, and if you too you are ready to, to leave, there are some things you need to do. There are some things you need to do. Number one, you must be ready to submit your life to the Lord God totally. You must let him be the Lord of everything. You must be ready to submit your life to him totally. You must be ready to let him be the Lord of everything. James chapter 4 verse 7. James chapter 4 verse 7. He says, submit yourself to the Lord. Resist the devil. Then he will flee from you. Those are the things you need to begin to carry in your mind. This year, be ready to submit your life to him. Number two, be ready to commit your ways in, unto him. Trust him with all your heart. Commit all your ways unto him. Commit your ways unto him. Trust him with all your heart. Check the word of God in the book of Psalms, chapter 37, verse 5. The book of Psalms, 37, verse 5. Proverbs, chapter 16, verse 3. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not upon your own understanding. And in all your, all your ways, acknowledge him. And he will do what? He will direct your path. He will direct your path. That is the God I'm talking about. Allow him to lead you this year. Number three, open yourself totally to the Holy Spirit. Open yourself up to the Holy Spirit. In my previous episode, we spent some time to begin to pray. By the Holy Ghost, and that is a pointer to you this year. Open up yourself to the Holy Spirit, let Him fill you, let Him lead you, let Him fill you, let Him lead you, let Him fill your company, let Him lead your company, let Him fill your family, let Him lead your family as a political leader, let Him lead you. The leading of the Lord will make a big difference in your life. And I pray for you today, your life will never remain the same again in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Another thing you need to do is to commit yourself to the word of the Lord. Commit yourself to the word of the Lord. Meditating in it day and night. Feeding on it as your daily bread. Feed on the sincere milk of the word of God that you may grow thereby. Check the word of God in Psalm 1. Psalm 1, verse 1 to 3. 
planted by the riverside and you begin to bear your fruit in this season. That is what it means. Say, blessed is the man. Blessed is that man. A man that is ready to commit himself to the word of God. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. He said, I will meditate on this word. He said, this word of the Lord shall not depart from my mouth. He said, I will meditate upon it day and night that I may have a good success. That is what the word of God is telling us this one. Colossians chapter 3 verse 16. Commit yourself into the hand. Resist the devil. In every way, just let the word of God take preeminence over your life. And I want to tell you, your life will never remain the same again in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lastly, as I want to tell you this, this year, to allow the Lord to lead you, you must be ready to walk in obedience. Obedience to God. Obedience to God. Ready to walk in obedience. Ready to walk with Him with all your heart. You begin to, you begin to submit yourself in obedience. You, be, you begin to obey Him. You ask Him, Lord, what should I say? Lord, where should I go? What should I do? That is what I'm talking. Perfect obedience. Perfect obedience before the Lord. And when you begin to do this, I want to tell you, that will be a new beginning in your life. What did I say? I said that will be a new beginning. A new beginning of God's encounter in your life. Number two, your life will begin to get better and better. Why? Because you have submitted yourself to him. You are ready to obey him. You are ready to obey his word. You are ready to submit to his word. You are ready to give him everything that belongs to you. You have a new beginning. Your life will begin to get better. And from that moment, you begin to walk in the covenant of God's blessing. You begin to walk in the covenant of God's blessing. Therefore, I challenge you by the word of God this morning. You have a work to do. There is a task ahead of you. And that task is to allow God to lead you. Allow God. Let God lead. Let God lead. Psalm 32 verse 8. As I want to begin to round up. And I want to begin to prepare your heart to pray. Psalm 32 verse 8. The word of God says, I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. I will guide thee with my heart. That is the promise of God for you this morning. That is the word promise of God for you, my brother. Psalm 32, verse 8. I will instruct you and teach you in the way which thou shalt go this year and every part of your life. I will guide you with my eyes. That is the word of God. That is the prophecy of God for you. The Lord has promised from his, he has revealed his promise, his prophecy over your life. The Lord has promised that He will guide you. All you need to do is to submit to Him. Submit to Him. Submit to His word. Walk in obedience. Walk in obedience. Commit your ways unto Him. Trust in Him with all your heart. And I want to tell you, your life will never remain the same again in the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever you are, my brother, wherever you are, my sister, I want you to do one thing with me right away. Just lift up your hand, begin to wave your hand to the Lord. Begin to thank the Lord, the shepherd of your soul. Yes, begin to worship him. Begin to bless him. Say, Father, I thank you. You are the shepherd of my soul. Yes, wherever you lead, I will follow. Whatever you say, I will obey. Worship him. Thank him. Say, Lord, I thank you because you are the shepherd of my soul. You are the shepherd of my family. You are the shepherd of my business. You are the shepherd of my ministry. Father, I give you thanks. Father, I give you worship. I give you adoration. Spend time to worship God. Spend time to praise Him. It's a time, it's a season of a new beginning, my brother. It's a season of a new beginning. A new beginning, when you begin to thank the name of the Lord, begin to bless Him, begin to worship Him, the shepherd of your soul. As you are doing that, I want to move a step forward. Commit your entire life into the Lord. Ask Him to be the Lord in every area of your life. Tell him to be the Lord in every respect, in every. Say, Lord, I commit my entire life into your hand. You are together with me. Just begin to pray to them. Say, God, I commit my life into your hand. My entire life into your hand. Father, take absolute control. Take absolute control. Now, tell the Lord again. Say, God, I commit my ways into your hand this year and beyond. I commit my ways into your hand this year and beyond. Ask him to guide you. Ask him to guide you every day of this year, every week, every month. Tell the Lord, Father, 
guide me. I commit my ways into your hand. As you are doing the Lord, as you are doing that, ask the Lord to feed you with the best this year. Say, Lord, feed me with the best. Feed me with your blessing. Feed me with the bread of your presence in the name of, Jesus, of the Lord Jesus. Tell the Lord, say, make me to be a blessing. Bless me and make me a blessing. Bless me and make me a blessing. As you are doing that, I want to tell you the presence of the Lord will saturate you. Just a word of prayer. As I want to round up this message, I want to pray a prayer of faith with you. Lay your hands upon your heart wherever you are. As I want to round up with you, and as you continue that prayer wherever you are. Father, I want to thank you for this hour. Thank you for this one to one that are already that have already submitted themselves to you, ready to be led by you. The Bible makes me to understand that as many that are led by the Spirit, they are called the sons of God. But that these are your children this hour. Lord, lead them. I said, lead them, O oh God, as they, are, as they have submitted to you. Father, lead them in the name of Jesus Christ. Every yoke, every limitation that want to hinder you from being led, I break that yoke this morning. I break that limitation this morning. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I decree and I, decree, I declare from this moment, you will enjoy the leading of the Lord. The Lord will guide you with the pillar of cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night. Wherever you need to make a decision, the presence of the Lord will make a difference with you. Will make a difference for you. The Lord will lead you the day. The Lord will lead you the night. He will lead you in your family. He will lead you in your business. He will lead our nation. He will lead the nation where you are watching me. He will lead the organization. So shall it be for you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. If you are there this morning, I pray for you. The power not to go back to sin. I pray that yoke of sin in your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible, the Bible made me to understand. And I want to tell you this morning. Say, Therefore the body shall be taken off your shoulder. And the yoke of your neck. And the yoke shall be destroyed. Because of the anointing. I break every yoke concerning your life this morning. Every yoke of limitation. Every yoke of entrance. Every yoke of dryness. Every yoke of stagnation that doesn't want you to be led. I break that yoke this morning. In the name of Jesus. I said, Go! and receive the leading of the Holy Spirit. Go and receive solution. Go and receive insight in the name of Jesus. Thank you, my Father. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. Amen. Amen and amen. God bless you, my brother. I want to thank God for the time of praying together. Please do me a favor. Be an evangelist. Do the work of an evangelist. Share this message to somebody. God will use this message to bless the life of somebody. Please share this message. Like this page. Please, at the same time, connect us on the social media. Connect us on the social media. You will see the addresses spread on the screen. Please join us. You can see the WhatsApp. You can join in the WhatsApp group. You can be on the Instagram. You can be on the YouTube. For our past messages, just type my name on the YouTube. And all these messages will just you know, come up. And you can enjoy this message again. And you can enjoy more messages on the Facebook and every other and, and every other social media platform. The Lord bless you. The Lord be with you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. You will not be dry. You will not be, you will not be stranded in the name of Jesus. God bless you. See you another time.